Mama Cat. George? Hello, my sniffers. My name is Marlene McCohen, and this is Vinny. Ooh, Vinny looks like he's excited to be here today, like he might not fly away. Uh-oh, he heard me. He's planning his escape, but don't worry. I have Cody as backup. I'm not gonna bother Cody just yet. It's like he heard his name. I don't know if you guys heard him. He made the cutest little noise. I'm not gonna bother Cody just yet. I'm gonna wait until I exhaust all my options with this little star because this is Storytime Sunday and today's story is about Vinny. But before we get on to our story, let's talk about our Engaged Not Caged feature. Today, I have chosen right in the middle of the reveal. Today, I have chosen Biddy the Parakeet to be our Engage Not Cage star. First of all, how cute is this picture? Is this bird not photogenic? Why I really was drawn to this picture was not only the beauty of Biddy herself, but the caption under Biddy's picture was just so amazing. This photo of Biddy was posted by Rachel Elizabeth Hammond, who is the owner of Biddy and said that Biddy had been sick recently. And even though Biddy doesn't like to be touched, she accepted her medicine in such a sweet way as if she knew that the medicine was helping her. Oh my God, guys, that is so cute. You have to agree, this is the cutest bird. And you can see why I obviously thought Biddy was a great choice for this week's Engage Not Caged feature. If you guys would like your bird featured on my YouTube channel, hashtag Engage Not Caged on Instagram, and follow Engage Not Cage, my Instagram page. Of course, I had to get Vinny back and see if he will stay in his story as much as possible. <laughs> Cody's laughing. He's like, that is impossible. Let's talk about Vinny. So you guys know some things about Vinny that you may have heard me discuss. First of all, you know what a crazy, insane, scary bird Vinny has been previously. And because of those times, there were moments when Vinny was not flighted because if Vinny was flighted and he wanted to land on somebody, he would attack them in the craziest manner. He was so scary that I would make fun of everyone. I'd be like, oh, you're scared of a little pink bird? Meanwhile, he would latch on to anyone he wants to bite and just attack them like crazy. So I understood it, but I still had to have a little fun with it every once in a while. He's back there going, yeah. So Vinny was previously a scary bird, but as far as I can see, Vinny has grown out of it. He's improved, he's flighted. As you guys can see, he doesn't wanna be in this video because he's flighted. He doesn't have to be in this video. That's okay, I have Cody as backup. Right, baby? Vinny, if you wanna talk, you should just come. You should come back in the video so we know what you're saying. Cody's like, this is nice, but it'll be two seconds before I get on your head. Life is wonderful. Did you hear him honk? He honks like there's a car outside far away in the distance. That's his thing. It's so funny. You always feel like someone just arrived, but really it's just Cody. Back to Vinny. I'm gonna leave Cody on my head because it's really the easiest situation, except no, because Vinny is destroying that basket. So I gotta go get him. Did you guys hear Cody? He just said, you're so cute. He says what? that. What? Yeah, you said that. He says that every time I bring a bird to me especially Vinny, it's like he knows I'm gonna say that to Vinny, but he also says it to me, like Cody thinks I'm cute, he told me, I know. Anyhow, now that we've already had enough shenanigans in the first five minutes of this video, I wanna tell you what Vinny did today. Vinny, I'm gonna tell them what you did today, okay? So you have to behave yourself. So Vinny has been pretty well behaved. He hasn't chased anyone down in a while. He doesn't want to stay here with me. You're sorry? What are you sorry for? Why don't you just come here and be in the video? Come. No, not Jenna. Jenna's not going to be in the video. You need to be in the video. What? What? You can't laugh. You need to come back in my video. 
Not you. Why do you think I'm talking to you? What, what, what? Vinny, I want you to come back here now. I'm not the ruler of my own house. What are you scratching? No, no, no. I don't know why I thought for this video I was gonna be like, here's Vinny and this is what Vinny did today. And forget what Vinny did today. The way Vinny has behaved today should have indicated how Vinny was gonna behave for this video. Why are you flying around like a crazy bird? Not you, you're fine, you're fine. Yeah, you, why don't you come over here and we'll do this video. Well guys, I had to settle for this spot. You see where he is? And Cody may or may not come out for you guys to see him over here. It's okay, I gotta do this demo for you anyway of the day. So here's what happened. I'm about to do a new movie. So the producer comes over. Chris, you may have seen him in my Whatever Wednesdays. Chris comes over to discuss wardrobe. In my head, I always imagine these kind of meetings to go like this. They come over, I'm drinking tea. We have the discussion. I have all my notes ready. I'm well prepared. He loves my ideas. I have the right outfit. Maybe we talk with the other actor and we get it all sorted. That's not what it's like. What it's like is, hold on, Chris. Um, I just got to make sure the bird eats his apple before. Oh, I'm sorry. She's screaming because you just walked in and she likes you and Jersey needs to see you. Say hi to her. Say hi to her. Okay, Jersey, it's okay. Chris missed you. Vinny, don't fly over there. Let me just bring you down. Sorry, I'll be right with you. Let me just make my tea. Okay, I'm making my tea. Do you want anything? Oh no, you don't You don't drink hot stuff. Um, let me get you a water real quick. Picasso, where are you? Come back here. Meanwhile, Cody flies to my head. I put him down and I'm like, Cody, it's okay. I'm not leaving. I just need to get everything sorted. Is anybody hungry? Here, here's a cracker for you. Here's a cracker for you. They love like these gluten free Mary's crackers. It's unbelievable. And I'm handling them all. Picasso, do you want a carrot? And I'm like, just, just a minute, Chris, don't worry. He's like, don't worry. I got it. Hey, uh, can I just check out your 5D while you're doing all of that? No problem. Yeah. Just check out the camera. Like I'll just be here chasing around all of the birds because they're really excited. Dog is excited. Sandy's crazy now that he's walked in. Did you want to go outside? Let me just put her outside so I can hear you. Okay. I think I've got it situated. I'm making tea. The tea is ready. The birds are kind of eating. Everybody's calm. Next thing you know, I'm having a discussion. I'm like, so anyway, yeah, um, about that one scene, I was thinking that if I came into the house, wait a minute, Picasso. Oh, okay, Cody landing on my head. I'm sorry, Chris. I just, um, you know, <laughs> you know how they are. I just, they just want to be with me all of the time. <laughs> Cody, that's not funny. This is what a meeting really goes <laughs> like in my house. <laughs> Cody thinks that's funny. We decide that after I get situated, I gotta go up and look through some things that I have to work on the wardrobe because I had a very specific dress in mind. But I knew that I had to bring all of the birds upstairs with me or they were going to throw a tantrum, especially Jersey. Jersey was not gonna be happy if I left her downstairs. And I can't take Jersey and not Picasso because then Picasso would be really, really upset. Now, I can't take Jersey and Picasso and not Cody because then I would just feel really bad because Cody is so cute and he's so attached to me. It's kind of insane. But then I can't take Cody and Jersey and Picasso without bringing Vinny. But sometimes I can because Vinny is often not interested in doing what everybody else is doing. A lot of the time Vinny is like, nah man, I'll stay here. But as I'm leaving with the birds, I realize that Vinny kind of wants to come. I can tell he's doing the like, are you bringing me? So I'm like, of course I'm bringing you. You come upstairs too, and I will find a place for all of you, and everything will be so beautiful, and I will pick out my wardrobe, and Chris will like my dress, and it will just go really smoothly. Well, I'm climbing up the stairs with four birds. 
You guys might have seen this on my Instagram, me going up and down the stairs with four birds. It happens a lot. A lot of you said, how long did it take you to get that picture? No, it took me one second because there are all always four of them on me. So it's kind of like a thing. This is how I get up and down the stairs with all of them. I know you're going to say, where was Rocky? Rocky was watching his television show. He has like his own schedule. He's on his stand. And I can't include Rocky with these four birds. One, I can't carry him with them. And two, he would just attack all of them. So they kind of have their routine and Rocky has his own complete different routine. That's why you'll see me with these four a lot and not Rocky. So Chris has been to my house many times. We have filmed here. He's completely accustomed to it. He's fine with all of the birds. He knows I'm bringing them upstairs. He knows that if I don't, they're going to scream. Everyone that comes over to my house knows it's not really a big deal. When I get upstairs, they have their spots. Jersey and Picasso are gonna sit on top of the shower and they're gonna sit there and hang out and Picasso's gonna hit on Jersey and everything's going to be beautiful and easy. And as long as Jersey sees me, then there's not gonna be much screaming. And if I just keep an ear out for when Picasso flies, then I'll make sure he's not chewing something he's not supposed to chew. Cody, I have to put him like in a basket with toys. Okay, can you stop banging on my head? And in this basket, he plays with his toys and he just sits in there very, very happily. In fact, he loves going into the bathroom just because he can't wait to see if his basket is there. Vinny generally will sit on top of the faucet and just chill there. If I go too far, he'll fly after me. But for the most part, Vinny just stays put and he's a really good bird. So I get everyone in position. Everything's going well. Suddenly... Chris enters the bathroom and Cody flies. That's kind of funny because I actually mean Vinny. Chris enters the bathroom and suddenly Vinny flies down and darts at Chris's feet. And Chris is standing there smiling and I'm like, run! And he like casually starts walking back and I'm like, faster, faster! And he hides in the closet. So let me paint this picture. When you go into my bathroom, there's closets in the bathroom. So there's this large bathroom and then closets. So he starts hiding behind the closet door. But as he's closing the closet door, Vinny is charging at the door. And so he knows to be careful not to shut the door on Vinny. He's being very gentle. And Vinny looks kind of harmless. He looks like he's charging and walking like he wants to be friends. But because of my voice, Chris knows that maybe Vinny has other intentions. I don't know if Vinny has other intentions, but I know his history and I'm not gonna trust him with guests. So I say, don't worry, I'm just gonna pick him up and I'm gonna put him up where he belongs on this faucet in his spot. And now that I'm in the room, he should be fine. I put him up there, Chris comes out. Next thing you know, Vinny goes charging at Chris like crazy. And I go, run, run! And he hides in my closet, but Vinny gets into the closet quickly. So Vinny's in there flying around, and I'm like, Chris, get out of there! And Chris runs out, and I shut the door, and Vinny is flying around in the closet like a very angry bird. And I open up the door, and Vinny is screaming his head off, flying and flying so hard that I'm scared to go in. So I shut the door, and I'm like, oh my god, it's like Hitchcock's the birds in there. And he's like, yeah. And I'm like, I'm really sorry about that. So we get to talking a little bit, and then Vinny starts making screaming noises, but I know he hasn't moved. So I'm like, as long as he's not moving and he's in the closet, like for five minutes, he'll be okay. It's a big closet, so it's not a big deal. I saw he was sitting on a basket. Cody, you need to stop that. So I saw he was sitting on a basket and I'm like, he'll be fine. Next thing you know, I decide, let me open the closet and just check on Vinny. I open the closet, I check on Vinny, I shut the door. I'm like, okay, he's really calmed down, Chris. I think we're good. We get to talking and I realize that there's a dress that is in my closet that I think would be a good idea for maybe the film. Just see if Chris agrees with me or not. I go into my closet, Vinny's there. I'm like, hi, Vinny. 
and I start pulling out the dress and it's in like the dry cleaning bag and Vinny flies at it and he's on top of the dry cleaning bag and he's attacking it and I'm like, Vinny, calm down. When I tried to put the dress back, he started flying all over and landing on my head and suddenly it was like this evil Knievel came out and he became old Vinny that everybody was scared of. So suddenly I'm not too sure and I'm like, Vinny, calm down. And he's just insane, flying around and landing on me, but he's not biting me, thank God. And I'm like, okay, I need to get this bird to a safe location. Safe from himself, because he's flying around, and safe from Chris, because Chris is a guest in the house, and we don't want any guests in our house to have a crazy Hitchcock experience. I say, Chris, I'm in the closet. Just give me one second. I'm going to get Vinny to safety and take him downstairs. I pull Vinny out and I'm kind of like doing like the hold his foot thing. And I'm like, okay, we're going to go. And Vinny just starts charging at Chris, like flying all around in a big circle. And I'm like, oh my God, no. Again, hide and Chris goes I'm getting in the bathroom because there's like this little toilet area in there and I go get in run run and he gets back there he goes I'm here I'm here I'm safe right and I go just stay in there and Vinny's like flying around and like he's landing on me and he's fine and he's not biting and finally I just bring him out of the room and I shut the bathroom door and I think I'm gonna take him all the way downstairs but I remember Picasso's cage is in my room and I put him in there and I shut the door and I go, oh my God, safety. And then I realize, where are you, Vinny? I don't think Vinny liked the idea that a man was upstairs in my closet. I think he felt like it was a violation. Vinny was not... Cody, you're just like making my hair so beautiful for this video. It's unbelievable. Like, I don't even think I can ignore it anymore. Your work is just outstanding. Anyway, I don't think that Vinny appreciated a man, even though he knew Chris, he really hasn't had much interaction with Chris. Cause remember, Vinny doesn't go to everybody. Jersey sees Chris and is like, hi. How come you're not touching me? Hi. But Vinny never even wanted to come upstairs before when I'm bringing somebody over or going upstairs. So Vinny will come with me, but at certain times of the day when he knows that there's a routine that I'm doing. So if I'm like, it's time for a shower, Vinny's like, yeah, I'm down. Let's go upstairs. Other than that, Vinny wants to be downstairs in his territory hanging out. So on this particular moment, when I wanted to go upstairs and Vinny showed interest from far away, like take me, take me, take me, I thought it was strange. But I didn't think it was strange in a Vinny's really mad he's going to attack Chris sort of way. I thought, oh wow, this is a development. This is an unusual time for Vinny to be interested in hanging out, but he wants to. Now keep in mind for those of you working with your birds or training with your birds, if you start learning that your bird only wants to come out at a certain time, that doesn't mean that I stop offering them to come out every other time. If I know that Vinny wants to hang with me at nine o'clock and four o'clock, that doesn't mean that at five when I'm doing something, I won't invite him. I invite every bird every single time to every single activity that I think is possible because you just never know when they're gonna say yes and the one time they say yes leads to the yes the next day and the next day that is why I invited Vinny to come up but it was very unusual that he wanted to and the fact that he wanted to leads me to believe that he knew I was gonna go upstairs with Chris Chris is an amazing guy. It's not like he wouldn't trust Chris specifically. It's just like he didn't feel comfortable with a man being upstairs in my room. And Sandy's like that too. Sandy is really nice to a lot of guys. She loves guys, 
but she doesn't like them going upstairs. That's my dog, by the way, my small black and white dog. She barks at any guy, especially if they try to go upstairs. So I just found that to be very interesting today. We definitely had a Hitchcock moment up in my bedroom with Vinny, so I don't know why I expected him to behave in this video. And that is my story time Sunday. I hope you guys enjoyed this story. I had fun putting the pieces together of Vinny's personality and how protective he is. I always say that if a burglar came into this house, I would just let Vinny loose. They would lose their mind. They would be terrified. Vinny would just land on them one moment and he would go for them and it would be over. I think they would be freaked out enough. So yeah, Vinny is a pretty impressive bird in that manner and today I think he really displayed what he can do. So we're gonna go back to being very careful about who Vinny is around. I've always been that, like that with Vinny anyway, so that doesn't matter. That is my story time Sunday. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm sure that gives you something to ponder over. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe, follow me on social media. I will put the links below. I also have a link below for products I love if you guys are wondering what kinds of things that you should get when you're getting a bird or if you just want to see my list of favorites. I tried to put all the products together that have four star reviews at least or things that you've seen on this channel before. I've put descriptions in there of why I like these things. Some things are self-explanatory but a lot of them I explain why and there's a lot of simple solutions for cleaning that I've added and I'm always going to be adding more. So check out those links below. Please subscribe, comment, like, and share this video. And if you want to show me your birds, come join my Facebook group, Parrot Station. I can't wait to see you there. Bye!